Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I just wanted to kind of show you this basic tool inside of Facebook, which I believe doesn't, I just truly believe it doesn't get enough attention at all. Um, and it's super powerful. It's super powerful for those of you that are trying to find your audience, right? I, you keep telling, you keep hearing me talk about knowing who exactly your customer is, like knowing their avatar, like where they hang out, what they like, where they're at all the time, you know, shit all the way down to how they freaking smell. You know what I mean? Like if you're building a business, you want to know the exact demographics, the interests, you want to know exactly how to get in front of your client and, 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 and again, where your client is at online. Okay. Super, super powerful. Um, inside of Facebook, Facebook has, when you come into Facebook, first of all, all you're going to do is come over here and you can come to this, this drop down and hit manage ads. You can hit manage ads and that's going to bring you back to the ads manager over here. And then what you're going to do is click on these three lines and you're going to come down to all tools and go to audiences. I highly suggest that you guys spend some time on this and really just kind of break it down and just play around with it and, 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 and see if you can find your audience, find where your, where your customer is hanging out or, or different things that they're actually following. Um, let's go down to actually, you know what? My bad. It's, it's audience insights, audience insights. So we click on audience insights and this is going to give us a, 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 a drop down over here to the left. We can go everyone on Facebook or people connected to your page. I would go everyone on Facebook. And then this is where you can kind of break down the country um, or you could break it down to the city, the age, the gender, the interest, and, and um, different connections, different pages, people connected to your page, people not connected to your page. So let's say, for example, we are in, I don't know, let's just say fitness. We're in the fitness. Okay, so we're searching for United States. There, there's the United States. And then I want to go 18 to any. And then let's, let's just target all gender. And then the interest, let's type in, and it gives you a, a, a drop down as well. So there's all these different categories that you can you can try to find your interest your 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 um your niche in. So let's say we're going fitness and wellness, and let's say we're looking for people who have an interest in weight training. Okay, and then and then um, we can go down to even even bodybuilding, and we could put in all these different interests, right? So bodybuilding, weight training, um, let's say physical fitness let's say running. Okay. So we, those are the, those are all the different interests and then connections, um, people connected to your page or people not connected to your page. And then you got advanced. You can go as far as education, parents, segments, life, relationship status. Let's say we want to go after people in a relationship. Okay. So this right here, you guys, this is super powerful, man. This is all the data that Facebook has. So based on our criteria, Facebook's telling us that 60% um, are women, 40% are men. And these are the different ages. So when you go in to, to, to place your Facebook ad, it's going to ask you for the age. Look, based on Facebook's data, you don't want to be targeting people 65 and plus, 65 plus because only 2%, 55 to 64, only 4%. Facebook's telling you that your target market based on this exact criteria, based on the interest, based on the age, based on the actual country, Facebook's telling you, hey man, your best targeting, your best audience is in between the age of 25 and 34, and it happens to be women. That's powerful data, you guys, like powerful, powerful data. Like I'm telling you, man, most people, they go blind into running Facebook ads without knowing any of these numbers. And if you knew these numbers, it would save you an arm and a leg on your advertising cost. Like bottom line, because most people are trying to target maybe 18 to 65. You're targeting all, you know, men and women when it's like, dude, target 25 to 34 and target only women, right? Like that would be, that would be more ideal. And, and, and again, it'd be way more effective as far as your cost and, and obviously your targeting. Um, and then so, and so right here it says 40% are men, um, 
and then and then um um yeah so 45 percent 40 percent I don't know why there's a difference in percentages here. There's, this this is showing 60% are women, 40% are men, 45% off Facebook, 56% off Facebook. So shit, to tell you the truth, I'd go, if this was me, man, I'd be targeting men and women in between the ages of 25 and 34, bottom line. And then also, when you scroll down, um, this is giving us food and restaurants sells the job title so so if we want to go deeper and 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 set up this facebook ad we're going to target men and women in between the ages of 25 to 34 and we're going to target job titles you could set up different ad sets or you can maybe put it all in the same ad set and and target people who have a job title of let's say i mean none of these are huge huge numbers but you can go sales. People that have job titles in sales. It's like, dude, people who have jo a job title in sales and are in, be in between the ages of 25 to 34 would be your ideal, your ideal audience. Like, dude, that just saved me a ton of money and a ton of time on trying to figure out this stuff myself. That's powerful. That's powerful. And then also I could target, I could target that. And then, and then in the actual targeting, I can also include these different pages. So Facebook is telling me, Hey man, people in between these ages are also following these different Facebook pages. So Spencer's up church Sprite, you know, relevance, duct tape, whatever the hell that is. There's 584,000 people um, who follow that, who follow that page. Let's, let's click on it and see what it takes, where it takes us. Yeah. So, so I don't know why duct tape, but people in between the ages of 25 and 34 men and women follow this page. So I can literally put this page in my Facebook targeting and target everyone who follows this page because Facebook's telling me that there's a large, a large percentage of people, 584,000 that are in that, in that demographics follow that page. That's freaking crazy, crazy powerful location. If I want to, if I want to set up the ad and say, Hey man, rather than targeting the entire country, why not go off of Facebook's data and maybe target people in, um, let's see, maybe, maybe target people in Chicago, Illinois, or maybe target people in Michigan, target people in Tampa, Florida, right? So this right here, man, is super, super powerful. See all um, these, I don't know what this, this 0% Albuquerque selected audiences is equal likely is equally likely to be in this group compared to Facebook users. Okay, so then that's I guess that's that's location um, and then activity. I don't know what the activity is, but shit, man, just based on the demographics alone, you guys, based on the demographics alone, this tells me a lot. And this would allow me to structure that Facebook ad in a way where I'm not blowing my budget. So super powerful, you guys, this is audience insights. So whatever your, whatever your, your business is, right? This is, I'm targeting bodybuilding, physical fitness, running, weight training. You know, let's, 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 let's type in a different one. Let's go, let's, let's see, let's say we're going after, let's see, let's click on interest. Let's go after, let's say you guys are in, you guys are in e-commerce. Okay. And you guys are selling, you know, you guys are on Shopify selling freaking clothes. Okay. So then here is, let's see, men's clothing. United States. Okay, so I don't know why it's not pulling up any data. Maybe there's just a hiccup in Facebook for some reason, but that should have gave us a ton of data as well. Um, let me refresh it and see what happens.
Okay, so let's try this again under a different a different one. So let's go interest. Let's go back to um, what were we on shopping and fashion, clothing, men's clothing. Okay, there's definitely a hiccup in it, but you guys got my point on the first on the first example. That right there, you guys, is a game changer. So play around with audience insights. Find your niche. Know exactly who you're targeting so you're not blowing your budget on Facebook. All right, you guys, hope that uh, brought value. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, smash the bell for notifications, and drop me a comment below. Let me know where you guys are coming from, and let me know how I can bring value to what you guys are doing online. There's a, there's a link in the description. If you guys are new to Facebook advertising, I have a ton of, of, of knowledge and strategies and tips that I bring to my, my special VIP subscribers on my email list. So make sure you subscribe, fbadsforbeginners.com. The link is pinned in the first uh, post. And it's also in the description. I'll see you guys on the next video, fbadsforbeginners.com. See you soon.